Thank you for choosing us as your source of information. Welcome to your show about Africans who are dedicated to shaping our continent for the better. I am honored to report on these stories. My name is Pile Mulebati. You are watching Bupilo. Eastern Cape born Bulelani Kobe was born without arms and legs, but that did not stop him from leading a full and successful life. Now 32 and employed Bulelani shares a story to prove that you can go as far as your imagination takes you. If you can dream it, you can become it. We recently caught up with him and this is what took place. <laughs> Bulela Nikobe caught the media's attention back in 2014 when he became the first person with a physical disability to graduate at Walter Sisulu College. Two years later, this driven young man has made giant strides yet again in his life. Bopilon recently made its way to Butterworth in the Eastern Cape to document his recent success. Before proceeding to his new venture, we joined Bulelani at his home where he gave us a sneak peek into a childhood that taught him to be a self-sufficient young man he is today. I have a twin sister. My twin is Namsa Kobe, who was born on the 30th of July 1984. Uh, but she's not physically disabled like me. She's able, but we click a lot. She's my everything. She, yo. She's like a, 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 a she's, she's like a, a, a friend to me. Growing up in a small town where he was the only person with a disability, his family quickly adjusted in order to take on the challenges that the community presented with. Each time they rejected and ridiculed Bulelani for his disability. Many are around the street, but but you look like Abanye Baba surprised. Like even if the the silly pan, let's say I'm chilling some pan, but maybe they are passing by, they will make some signs like look at umuntu onganas and or onganya. But Londo, it doesn't destroy me, because one, the teman cool and that's born by umuntu onchan, that's accept, ne. Then that's jail, but okay, fine. I because they don't understand. Yeah, but and then that's jail. okay, you when the guy in Doni, he disability will always be there. And okay, I I don't do yours each inch. Yeah, but I think it started at the age of seven because that's where I started to to realize things. So what was happening, I usually see a lot of children playing down there at the street. So uh, I knew at that time, but okay, I'm not like the same people. And it all, uh, I've also realized it when I was sent at the boarding school, because the school that I was in, it was a school that with people who, who were disabled. Attending a school for children with different physical disabilities opened Bulelani's eyes to other children who shared similar challenges. There were different disabilities. Uh, some of us were on wheelchairs, some were using crutches, some were having some sort of limbs. Uh, but it, it was so amazing because uh, it, it, it taught me a lot of things that if you are disabled, it's like it's, not the, it's like it's not the end of the world. You can do things even if you were born without arms and legs. Despite the physical limitations that he encountered daily, he has adopted a go-getter attitude that sees him push beyond boundaries. Bulelani laid a solid foundation when he graduated with a diploma at Walter Sisulu College. I was so scared, yeah, one, because I was the only person on a disability. Up until the following year, because the following year there was the other guy. So what happened? I was scared uh, who's cut his name. But up until I, I met the classmates, I'm the office management, of which they never treated me funny. So 
they gave me confidence. Yeah, but, but okay, Bulelani, don't be scared. Yeah, but all sort of that thing. Then you know, we father pen, eh? That's the law. Okay, fine. Abanye buy a trial on the Abanye buy and turn the airborne. So long to a young and young moon to your one or on a sabby about. The drive and the well had to be accompanied by hard work. Uh, I studied e office management and technology. Then the Titan Road 2014. Then after the deal, I was employed by the department, the social development. As exciting as this new chapter was for him, he had to quickly learn to pave his way in the corporate world. Working with social development is right up his alley as he's passionate about working with people. I love Abandu and the Munto Okuluma, you know, Abandu, you It's cut as Ningi, like Tunglamundu or Okona, you Let's say I want to share ideas with people and I want to know about it. And I know Mundo or Tomayo or something like that. I'm just a, a person or, or humble and or Tanukul Malabant. Since his graduation at Walter Susulu College, Bulelani has never looked back. He is set on motivating young people to pursue education no matter the circumstances. After the break, he lets us in on just how much education has empowered him in the corporate world. Stay tuned. That's coming up after the break. professional barman would tell you is into a glass tilted at exactly 45 degrees oh bless you bless you sir bless you again well we'd say the perfect way to pour a beer is at this angle straight into your mouth tops its bar good beer good advice no poncy beer stuff A top 5 rated horse racing event in the world, fashion is a highlight for those in attendance. All decked out in blue and white, the Lomarians Queen Plate is the premier event that kicked off everyone's social calendar. That was all part of my master plan to cast John Legend but deprive him of his normal instrument and give that one to Ryan. The House of Truth is not just a name. It is a religion, it is a lifestyle, it is a conviction that drives us. What really excites me is how people have kept it very simple and also played with the theme and how each person has interpreted it in their own way. To stay updated with all the current entertainment news, tune into Trends every Saturday from 12 to 1. the show with me, Bule Mulebazi. Today we'll look at endless possibilities of life through the eyes of Bulelani Gobe, who continues to do the unexpected in a body without limbs. Let's have a look at how he has proven that you don't always need arms and legs to be a winner in life. Bulelani Gobe continues to push boundaries and aim higher than the physical limitations. Being born without arms and legs is certainly a motivation behind this young determined man who does his work beyond expectation. I didn't like about the treatment as like a special person. Like during the exams, like Mosukupalang is cut. If ever a paper is a, a three hour paper, then I would ask for some extra time because I'm a, a slow, I'm in slow in writing. 
That's the only thing that they they treated me. Otherwise, they are quite super and just he is assigned an assistant who helps carry documents for him, but the job is still his to execute. Man figure M17, ne? Yeah, in the Indians are in the Uzo keeper, you will say the mobile will say that is base M17, ne? Then the driver to my dad's car, then a man on the Puma M20, then he carries in the laptop that I'm using with the documents. Then we Mama sing in office in Uzo Nancy Uzo Nega, let's say, the attendance register, then Aunt Patilla Mafia's Mamma Manfuna was a movement. The two have established a working relationship that has become more than just a work requirement. Just Manis in Wood Om to all Sevenza, Kogus Misselem Sevenzen. And Jabba Sevens and Ogus Missa, Kenyans like an ambans, Kalba, okay, Transim Sevens in. I have to Uba the focus and Kalan Dobanza Sevensa. Kululaga Kul, Sevens and Obulan. Ah, a rangum to name like an old friend. Bulelani learned at a young age how to write, a skill he taught himself by exploring ways to use his limbs. When I grew up, ne? I was using those artificial arms, but Zange gets turned. Because the industry, okay, I was born like Ganja, but so what's the use of using the artificial arms? Ne? Then I came with an idea. Ne? I took a pen, then I beg a so. Then I, I started to write, but I, I was very slow up until I, I got used with it. The demands of his work requires him to use modern technology in order to execute tasks efficiently. And Bulelani took on the challenge to master the skill of typing on his laptop. When I was using a computer, I was typing with my upper lip up until the, the teachers at primary school, they, they didn't like the way that I was typing. They gave me something to use. Like in the day, if I get an employee, I want. Obviously, I I I am poor. Then I took a phone, I want. I want the the band the cough and cough and cough. Because you know, if only must be here for the the laptop with the patterns, I want. So I knew every pattern about A O P O P O P some sort of that, I want. So I, I trained myself. I trained myself up until I was perfect. The techno-savvy young man enjoys the use of gadgets, particularly his cell phone that he uses to communicate with his assistant when he needs documents in his office. Bulelani's manager shared how he has changed the work environment with his positive outlook in life. Ubulelan is a social being. He's, he's like, he, we have turned Uba, he's like, um, we have turned Uba, Uba socializer. He's always laughing. Um, I think very, in very few times when I've seen him not fine, like, and I would ask about what has happened. Most of the times it's like he's not fine in terms of, the, of, the, of his health. But basically, in this office, he's just that social being that is very, like, laughing, like, wanting to... We have turned out... We social gathering. For instance, office we, we, we promote it, but we, we must be like a family sharing our birthdays, um, sharing our, our, our pains, sharing our, uh, our, our good things. So we are a in now that is like, it's going to be a social gathering. So Umduje, laughing, helpful, very helpful. You know, for instance, his office is, is almost in, at the top. If he sees anybody, there's somebody who's in, 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 in the desk as you get in there. But if he sees that there's somebody who is not attended to, 
He has no problem running over down, as you see our office, down to my office to tell me that there's somebody that is like uh, needing you to see, ma'am. Then I have uh, they then come and see. He's just a very lovely person to work with. She explained just how working with him has expanded their understanding about people such as Bulelani. When people see him, they like, you know, so I, we, we had to like um, do e e e e e sessions, counseling sessions with, 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 with other people so that they may see that Bulelani is a human being, has rights, is able to do things that people do so that they can accept him as a person in the community, even in the family, because it, it must be something that is like they, they are able to, to adjust to the situation of, of who Bulelani is. Stay with us when we come back. We continue with this story. If you think you've seen it all from Bulelani, you have not seen nothing yet. More coming up after the break. Kalahari Transportier Park is a large wildlife preserve and conservation area in southern Africa. Kalahari means place of thirst. The total area is 38,000 square kilometers. Approximately three quarters of the park lie in Botswana and one quarter in South Africa. South Africa embraced the concept of transportiers linking ecological reserves across national borders. On the 12th of May 2000, President Festus Mukhaye of Botswana and Thabo Mbeki of South Africa formally launched South Africa's first peace park. It has 200 species of birds, including vultures, mammalians such as black Kalahari lions and large heads of herbivores, namely earlands, springboks, blue wildebeest, and more. right here on SABC News. We concluded the day on a much lighter note with Bulelani and friends. They shared their life lessons that they picked up from having Bulelani in their lives. Have a look. Bulelani Gobe lives his best life in a body without limbs. He has mastered the formula to a happy life, holding nothing back and being free to do anything that brings him joy and positivity. He introduced Bupelong to friends who encourage him to be bigger than his circumstances. I didn't usually go to town, like as regularly, but uh, it helped me because during the school holidays, uh, I usually come back. Then maybe some few weekends would take me to town. But in most times, I, I was just staying inside the car because of the accessibility of the town. Up until we, up until the municipality decided to build some more, so it's much easier because I usually see a lot of people that no miss like from from school the group experienced few challenges in the beginning but they soon learned to embrace one another's differences there were, there were challenges because it was the first time we saw someone so physically disabled like Bulelani. but then we learned about him that is a person he has feelings too he likes people he likes entertainment 
The funny thing was that whenever Bulelani would come to school, Mama Wakia would pack his lunchbox for him. And then like he would say, Don't I am, let's go, Masio Jubulelani Petegam Nand. And those were the moments that we shared in Bulelani Zimandi. It's often said that it's the small things in life that matters. And this group of friends always celebrate each other's achievements. They are inspired by what Bulelani has achieved in his own life. There are many people that are able, but Abakwaz who achieve what he has achieved in life. So I look up to him as my inspiration, saying that against all odds, I've managed to get my diploma. I'm a successful man. And I feel man I'm fuzzy anyway because he he always tell me that he wants someone who's spend with Bombak and I. But I think that person would find him to or not bell or not handle, regardless of looking at him uba ungum donjani, just to give him love because now you know tand we have a band. Bulelani's winning attitude has certainly rubbed off on those around him. He continues to spread his positive attitude to many young people who look up to him. In most cases, they drop out, they have excuses, but no, I can't afford, I have to, to drop up this call. But me, not... I set a good example, but in life you can do it. You must not underestimate yourself and you must not make excuses, but oh, okay, fine, I, I, I can't fail my studies because of this, this, this. It's changes in life. It changes the life of your band, but okay, yo, this guy, he was looking at this thing, Abe Engenaza Lengena Nyao, but you know, diploma and he's working. His ability to conquer has produced extraordinary results. With such determination and positive attitude, Bulelani, there is no stopping you. Whoever you are, wherever you are from, and whatever that you're going through, I hope that you are inspired by Bulelani's story. All the change that you've imagined in the world begins with you. Thank you so much, and thank you to Bulelani for sharing his story. The Kalahari Transportier Park is a large wildlife preserve and conservation area in southern Africa. Kalahari means place of thirst. The total